Hello, my name is Raylan Cantrell. I'm a senior here at UALR, graduating in December. The plant species that I've chosen is Earthroxylum cocoa, which resides in the family Earthroxylase, with the common name of cocoa. To begin my presentation on cocoa, I will start off with the botanical description of the plant, and then move on to my favorite section of traditional uses, which was most interesting while doing research on COVID just because of how much of an elaborate path this plant has and of how old it is it was very easy to find any types of methods that people previous to us have used this plant. I will then move on to the chemistry and pharmacology followed with the biological activity and then some human clinical studies followed with some contraindications and then move on to the current use in allopathic and cam therapies and ending with a conclusion. Great distribution picture of the Indian coca cultivation density and as you can see in just a four year period the countries who dominated coca cultivation changed from Peru in 1995 and then moved to Colombia, just one country away, literally shifting the quantities of their production. South America is not the only continent that coca is cultivated. It is just the main continent that coca is cultivated by a very large amount. I would also like to make note of the optimal climate that both Colombia, Peru, and Bolivia all offer to the coca plant which is a very warm, wet environment that is high in rainfall and close to the equator. Coca is a bush with spirally arranged elliptical leaves that grows in between 3 and 5 meters usually. It contains long, thin branches and I thought it was very neat. The lichens usually cover the coca bushes, especially found in the Amazon like we were just discussing, close to the equator. The fruits, as you saw in the very introduction slide, are small and they start off yellow and then change to bright red whenever they are ripened. Coca originated in the rainforests of the Andes and is mainly cultivated in South America. The leaves are chewed in order to enhance physical performance due to the chemical reaction resulting in an accumulation of glucose and pyruvate. And as you can see on the right, this lady is, all, is chewing the coca plant, but also has it wet sticking to her face, which I'm sure in some way, shape, or form, she has discovered that it can enter her blood multiple different ways, besides just chewing and, and letting the enzymes in your mouth digest it orally. This was probably the coolest part of my research, and it's something, it's one of the main reasons why I chose Earthroxylum coca because I kind of already knew this about Coca Cola before. But as you can see on the right, it contains the valuable tonic and nerve stimulant properties of the coca plant. And this is because coca was the main ingredient for the first 10 years of Coca Cola's existence, and up to 5 ounces of coca leaves were used per gallon of syrup. But around 1903, the U.S. began to correlate violence and poor health to the abuse of the coca plant and removed it from the main ingredient of Coca-Cola. Here you can see the chemistry and pharmacology of coca, with cocaine being the main app obtained from the coca leaf. The chemical formula for cocaine is shown on the top right, and then the bottom four structures are some of the other common alkaloids found in the coca plant. And trophenone is the least abundant alkaloid found in earth rock soil and coca. Due to the potency of coca alkaloids, it is obviously more common to find testing on animal than human. Thymed ogopeptidase can be implicated in the metabolism of bioactive peptides via acute cocaine administration. And as you can see in the picture on the left, this rat is being administered cocaine, putting the lever down. As you can see, he's kind of doing with it with his mouth. This is an interesting psychological research because the rat is offered 
both food and water inside of this cage. But he bypasses both of those things, including sleep, obviously, to press this lever, which eventually leads to his death. Cocaine's negative side effects and bad reputation leads to more strict laws, and that prohibits a lot of the tests uh, concerning cocaine to occur. Cocaine is almost immediately detected in the bloodstream when taken orally by human subjects the same way the South American natives do. And cocaine persisted in the plasma for more than seven hours. Coca leaves have been promoted as a food that could address the dietary deficiencies of the Andean population, which is something I did not expect to find at all. This slide, however, shows many things that I did expect to find, which are the complications of cocaine use. Uh, this ranges anywhere from an increased body temperature to constriction of the blood vessels, which will lead to an increased heart rate, ultimately leading to the risk of uh, cardiac arrest and death. Uh, exciting the nervous system is the main issue with this drug and alkaloid because this is followed by depression due to the lack of endorphins in the brain. So the endorphins are pumped out big time, stimulated whenever cocaine is being used, but whenever you're not on cocaine after that seven hour period is done and it finally leaves your bloodstream, you feel depressed and tired and the only way to reiterate the good feeling that you had when using the apple and cocaine is by it, taking it again, which makes this very, very dangerous. Although only a century ago coca was considered a prescription drug, it is no longer defined that way to be beneficial or safe. Coca-Cola switched their main ingredient from portions of the coca plant which is where the second half of their name, cola, comes from, is from caffeine. In conclusion, I think coca has the most elaborate history out of any of the species that I could have possibly chosen to do my research on, and I'm very glad that I did because it was really neat to know that 5,000 years ago this plant species was being used almost in the same way that it was 100 years ago. But once technology and politics intervened, coca was no longer found as a medical aid. As a result, many strains have been caused due to coca and its ties to cocaine. As you can see to the right, military politics with the Colombian cocaine drug trade into America, and that is because the United States is one of the highest on the list of cocaine using countries. Basically deriving from Colombia, which is now the leading coca cultivator in the world. But I believe that if we learn as a population to utilize all coca has to offer in a safe manner and not abuse it, such as the indigenous people of South America do, then everyone might benefit. Thank you very much for listening.